strange taxes from around the world. Most people don't enjoy paying taxes, but there is no doubt that they're an important part of society. Normally, people pay tax on their salaries or when they buy certain products. Big companies pay taxes too. However, some countries have had some rather strange taxes. UK Window Tax In 1696, the British government wanted to find a way to make rich people pay more taxes. It introduced the window tax, a tax based on the number of windows a house had. Politicians figured that rich people owned bigger houses with more windows. Therefore, the window tax would target the wealthy. It seemed like a good idea, though some people blocked up their windows to avoid paying the tax. The tax was scrapped in 1851. Russia Beard Tax in 1698, Russian leader Peter the Great introduced a tax on men who wore beards. Peter wanted his society to look more like those in Western Europe. There, beards were becoming less popular. Anybody wearing a beard had to pay a yearly tax, or else have their beard forcibly shaved off. The tax was repealed in 1772. Hi everybody and welcome to English For You. I'm Pat. And I'm Elsie. Now they say that the only two things that are certain in life are death and taxes. Death isn't much of a fun subject to talk about, so let's talk taxes instead and go through part one of today's article about some unusual taxes from the past and present. So day one begins... Most people don't enjoy paying taxes, but there is no doubt that they're an important part of society. And actually explaining what the word tax or taxes means helps you understand why they're important. It's money that's paid to the government on your income, on various items you buy, from business profits and so on, and that money mostly keeps the government going. It allows them to spend it on things like roads, schools, hospitals, all the necessary stuff. They need the money from somewhere, and it basically comes from us since we're the ones that mostly use those things. You might say, for example, as a way to use taxes in a sentence, in Taiwan, everyone has to file their own taxes. In the UK, though, most companies do it for their employees. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You, you don't I, have to do it by yourself. I, I, ne I think if you're self-employed, you would. But if mm -hmm. you're working for a company, when I was working in the UK, it just got done for me. Like cool. some money, I didn't even notice it. There might have been something on a pay slip that said, this is how much you paid this month. But it's all done for you and you don't have to go and file unless you're in you know, certain jobs or working for yourself or things like that. Like that. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Okay. I, I find the Taiwanese one very easy. Yeah, I'm, you can I'm, do it on your phone. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard from Americans how awful it is to, in the really? US. I heard it's pretty bad. It's pretty annoying. They still have to do it when they live in Taiwan. Yes, that's I, true. I don't for the UK. But I think like any banking stuff in America is difficult to okay. do. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. 好啦,那我们看一下这个 tax 这个名词是税或是税款它是一个可数名词哦所以我们说付税款就是 pay taxes 那报税刚刚例句里面有 是 file taxes 那在台湾呢报税的时间大概是五月的时候 So in Taiwan, the time for filing taxes is mostly in May Yep, that's when I go mm. Now that first sentence also contained today's language in focus So let's learn more about it <laughs> language in focus there is or she was no doubt that 后面加上一个子句那这个句型呢用来表示毫无疑问的是无疑的用来表示确信某事的发生那这个句型呢除了至于句首之外呢也可以至于句中由连接词带出来后方  
付税金，但是税金无疑的是社会上很重要的部分。那我们也可以再造一个例句，像是呢 ，Shelly complains a lot, so there's no doubt that nobody enjoys talking to her. Shelly 爱抱怨，所以无疑的没有人喜欢跟她说话。So let's carry on with our introductory paragraph. We see that normally people pay tax on their salaries or when they buy certain products. Kind of just mention that. Let's get into details. But first, let's look at the adverb normally, which means usually, in most cases and circumstances. So it's saying this is when people normally pay tax when they get paid every month and when they buy certain things. The certain things here include things like. Cigarettes, alcohol—usually things that the government wants to control a bit more,、mm -hmm. rather than just like any food or drink or whatever. Here's a sentence using normally. Normally, it rains a lot and at this time of year, but it's been really dry recently. Normally, 这个副词呢是通常。那我们也可以用几个在代换哦，比如说 usually 可以用，或者是 generally， 或者是 typically 也是可以的。那形容词呢，就是把字尾的 ly 去掉。Normal 代表就是普通的、通常的，所、so、以我们可以说 It's normal to 后面加上一个动词，代表呢，你去做这件事情是很普通、通常的。像是 It's normal to feel nervous before and during a job interview， 那就是面试前或是面试中，你感到紧张是正常的。And you do an ob a job interview to get a job and to get that job's salary.、Mm. The salary is the amount of money you are paid for your work. Sometimes it's given monthly, sometimes it's given annually. Some people might just get paid by the hour or by the day if they're doing very short-term jobs. But it's all called a salary, similar to the word wages. But wages are plural, and salary is almost always singular. And we could say, for example, Joe left his job because he wanted a higher salary. In other words, he wants more money. 嗯，他想要有更多的薪资、薪水。那薪水这个字呢，就是 salary 这个名词，它是一个可数名词哦。不过多半出现的时候都是单数。那前方你可以放上不同的形容词来形容 salary 这个字，像高薪，那我们就用 high 来形容 high salary； 低薪 low salary。还有刚刚说到的月薪、年薪怎么说呢？月薪是 monthly salary， 那年薪就是 annual salary。So we pay income taxes based on our salaries. You know where the word salary comes from? I have no idea. Salt. It's salt. from the French word sal, s a l, for salt, because people would used to get paid in salt, which they could use、really? to like preserve their meat and stuff. Wow, interesting. A long time ago. I didn't、course. know that. There you go. So the article continues. Big companies pay taxes too. Of course, that's how they contribute to the country.、Mm -hmm. The article then says, however, some countries have had some rather strange taxes. So let's look at a few right now, starting with the UK and window tax. And it is what it sounds like: a tax on windows. Let's explain. In 1696, the British government wanted to find a way to make rich people pay more taxes. Sounds great. Tax the rich. Okay, but what does the rich people have to do with window? Well, let's find out. It introduced the window tax, a tax based on the number of windows a house had. So, in other words, the more windows you have, the more money you pay. If something is based on something, this describes what is used as the source for a thing. In this case, it's the source for a calculation. What is this base number that goes into the calculation? So, when you talk about income tax, you're paying tax based on your income. If you make a lot of money, you pay more tax. If you make less money, you pay less tax. It is based on what you earn. This is based on the number of windows in a house. The article goes on. Politicians figured that rich people owned bigger houses with more windows. So a politician is someone who works in the government or for the opposition parties, trying to become the government. Generally, when we talk about a politician, we mean somebody who has been elected to represent people in that country's. 
parliament, government, Li uh, Fa Yen, whatever you want to call it. So they'll get chosen by wherever they live, their local area. They go and they say, "This is what my people want. This is what they say they want. This is the party that they want to be here, and this is what we should do." That's being a politician. Here's an example sentence: Politicians often promise things to get people to vote for them, but they don't always keep their promises. Politician, 它指的就是政治人物啦。那跟政治人物相关的就是政治或者政治学名词呢，我们就用 politics。好啦，那课文说到啊，一六九六年，英国政府想要让富人付更多的税，所以就有了这个 window。Tax, 也就是窗户税。窗户越多，代表呢你家越富有，所以你要付的税金就越多。So rich people had all those windows, and the article says therefore the window tax would target the wealthy. Here, target is being used as a verb, and it means to try to have an effect on a particular person, group of people, or a particular thing. So here, we're trying to make the wealthy pay more tax. We are targeting them. You could also say, this disease targets cells in the victim's lungs and makes it hard for them to breathe. Target 这边当做动词用，是针对或是以点点点为目标。那当名词用的时候呢，就是目标本身，剑靶或是靶心。那窗户税 （window tax） 它是针对富有的人，所以我们看到了 wealthy 这个字。Yeah, wealthy is usually used as an adjective, just meaning somebody is rich. He's from a wealthy family. His family is rich. But we can turn adjectives into kind of group nouns in some cases by putting the in front. The wealthy means rich people in general. Here's another way we can use this sentence with wealthy in it as, or this pattern with wealthy in it too. Many people think the wealthy should do more to help. The poor. The 加上形容词呢，可以特指某个群体，所以 the wealthy 那就是 we wealthy people. The rich 好也可以指的是富有的人，那就等于 rich people. 那相反就是 the poor 或是 poor people. 那还有像是 the young 年轻人，或是我们说 young people 也是可以的。那相反 the elderly 那就是年长的人，年长族群。The homeless 那就是无家可归的人。So back to the window tax. It seemed like a good idea, though some people blocked up their windows to avoid paying the tax. Oh, they blocked up their windows. Very clever. Yes. <laughs> very to, sneaky. Not that sneaky, because it was very obvious. <laughs> to block up means to use something to close some kind of hole or gap so that things or people can't get past. If there was an old mine, for example, that you used to go and dig. Hole in, but it's now unsafe. You'd block up the mine with、mm. rocks. Now, in this case, what people did was just put bricks over their window spaces. You can still see houses in London where there is—it's obviously a window, but it's all brick. And、oh. it's got a window shape to it. Okay.、Like, okay. So those were avoiding the tax. So yeah, people found a way to not pay the money, and the article goes on. The tax was scrapped in 1851. Scrap 这个动词呢是放弃或是废除。那这边呢用到被动，所以说这项税金啊，在一八五一年的时候被废除了。So that sounds kind of silly, but we're going to get even sillier now with Russia and the beard tax. Beard tax. Yep, that's one I would have to pay. Oh oh. Yeah, if I lived this far、uh, long ago and this far away. For in 1698, Russian leader. Peter the Great introduced a tax on men who wore beards. Why? Well, this is the answer. The article says Peter wanted his society to look more like those in Western Europe. He was kind of trying to move Russia away from kind of being a bit more Middle Ages to being more modern.、Oh. So he wanted the, his, his Russia to be more of a modern country, and there in Western Europe. Beards were becoming less popular, so it's like follow the fashion, and then hopefully we'll also become more educated and successful.、Uh -huh. And this is how it worked. The article says anybody wearing a beard had to pay a yearly tax, or else have their beard forcibly shaved off. 
Okay, so if you're not willing to pay, you shave off your beard. You or somebody will do it for you. Exactly. That's why we use that.、Uh, have something done to you? Have it、mm. shaved off. So this phrase or else is used to explain the consequence of, say, not following a rule or not doing something you should do, and it's pretty much always negative. Clean your room, or else you'll get no dinner. Stop playing video games, or else I'll take it away. That kind of thing. 对，所以 or else 后面会接出这件事，你不做之后的下场会是什么？那这里还有一个副词是 forcibly， 它代表的是强迫的或是使用暴力的。那这边用来修饰后方的片语动词就是 shave off， shave something off， 那就是刮或是剃掉毛发。所以在俄国的这项胡子税呢，也是相当的特殊，只要你留胡子就要付税金，你不付的话，那你的胡子就会被强制剃除。Okay, now you might say, but Pat, I've seen loads of old photos of Russian people with beards. So does that mean they're richer?、Mm, it actually means that they're not paying the tax anymore. As the article says, the tax was repealed in 1772. Ah,、uh, repeal 也是一个废除、撤销法律的用字。这边当然也是一个被动。好，所以呢，一七七二年的时候，这项税金也被废除了。这边当然也是用被动态。好，刚刚有说到，那当然呢，你也可以用刚刚学到的 scrapped 来说。嗯哼 ，Okay, that brings us to the end of the first day of this article. We'll learn about some more taxes tomorrow, but right now we're going to our for you chat question for today, which is: taxes can also be used to make people buy fewer things that might harm their health. What are some harmful products that have high taxes for this reason? Yeah, harmful products like tobacco, yes, cigarettes, yes, and alcohol. Yep,、uh, yeah, any much anything that you know. That's why cigarettes cost a lot. That's why、mm. alcohol generally costs a lot. You're paying extra money to buy it because it is being taxed.、Mm. Um, I don't know of any others. I maybe like gas. Yes, I, I, but it's not harmful, right? It is to the environment.、Oh. So I think that's why things like petrol, gas. I think there is a ta- there's. I'm pretty sure there is in the UK that that stuff、mm-hmm. would be. That's why the prices of gas, if you go to a gas station, are high because of the tax that's put on it to encourage people use more environmentally friendly things, right?、Um, and so on, or or a fuel that doesn't have so much stuff, or take the bus, that kind of thing. Get an electric car. So. That's. I think gas. It's not necessarily harmful to people, but don't drink it. That's not a good <laughs> idea. But it's because it's harmful for the environment. Right, it's harmful for the environment. Yeah, maybe maybe some kinds of medicine as well. Like you go to a Watsons, you can buy certain medical products. Now, if you took hundreds of them. It would be a bad idea.、Uh-huh. So maybe there's a tax on those. I don't know. I've heard that energy drinks cost more. Oh, that would make sense.、Mm. Yes, because people would go kind of crazy if they just drank them all the time. Yeah. Okay. So stuff like your Red Bull, your Monster. Right. And all that would be harmful. Okay. Well, that brings us to the end of today. But join us again tomorrow for part two of this article, where we're going to look at a couple more interesting taxes. See you then. Bye for now. Bye. Vocabulary review. Tax. The government has said that it will increase taxes to help build more hospitals. Normally. Normally, I ride a bicycle to work, but today it's raining, so I took the bus. Salary. Georgina did so well at work that her boss increased her salary by thirty percent. Politician. Before voting day, the politician promised that she would do her best to make the city a better place. Target. The new video game targets kids by being fun and easy to play and having their favorite characters. Wealthy. The houses in this part of town are so expensive that only wealthy people can afford to live here. Scrap. Forcibly. Shave something off. Repeal.